Hi, three and four-year-old leaders. We're preparing for March 17th. And as we continue our series goal, helping kids ask and answer the question, what is God like? God is holy, good, and loving. And we want to make sure that they understand that and part, that um, not all religions have a God who is holy and good and loving. Um, Many of the religions that have other gods don't have a God that is... um, omniscient and uh, encompasses all of those things. And so uh, we worship a great God who desires to have a relationship with us and has is doing everything possible to help us know what that relationship looks like. In fact, in our story today, we're going to see um, kind of the kind of what um, God had pictured would be um, our relationship with him and how how that looks as the Israelites begin to get instructions on how to build the tabernacle. First, you have your social activity and you're still playing your follow Moses activity. This is a follow the leader type of game. And remember, our social activities are to help you bridge and help you begin to build relationships with your kids so that you can sit and have conversations with them. So you can sit and they can trust you. Um, We want for the kids that are with us every time they're with us to um, desire relationship more than the things that are in the room. Now, we know we have fun things in the room. We do that on purpose. But we also want for kids to know that what we desire more than anything is a trusting, loving relationship so that we can show them who Jesus is. So that's what you're doing when you play this social activity, believe it or not. All right, then you have your um, video that you can watch and you can sing your worship songs together. And our small group activity today is a little cumbersome. We don't give you big activities to do every time you're with your kids. So um, do this as best as you can with each kid. Each kid is going to get a little can like this that has a slot in the top of it. And these are offering containers. Remember we said we're talking about God helping build the tabernacle. When God um, gave the instructions to the Israelites to build the tabernacle, it was his way of saying, I want to be among you. And And apparently, because the last time we did this, you built a cow, apparently you need a physical reminder that I'm there with you. And so I want you to build this tent that is a reminder that I am here amongst you all the time. Now, remember, this is a, a um, this is a placeholder, if you will, for what God was truly had in mind as our way to have God with us all the time. That's going to be Jesus later on. But all of the things that needed to happen so Jesus could be who he was when he needed to be here hadn't happened yet. And so he was giving the Israelites a placeholder and said, okay, until that comes, until that day comes, this is how you're going to know that I'm here with you. And I need for you to build the tabernacle. I need you to follow my instructions. Now, once they built the tabernacle, there were certain things that they had to do to show God um to see God, but also for them to show God that they were honoring him. And that was was through offerings. They would give animal sacrifice offerings. They would give oil, scent offerings. Um, There were all kinds of different offerings that God had lined out for them in the rest of the book of Exodus and Leviticus on how to do all of that and what it would take to be clean. So as a part of your small group to time today, you're going to help kids make their own little offering bucket. And um, because at Parkway Church, we are always trying to help kids um, find ways to serve in their community, we want for these offering buckets to be a way for them to start collecting the change that we'll collect from them starting in September for Operation Christmas Child. Operation Christmas Child is a ministry from Samaritan's Purse. Remember, they were here to help us during the hurricane. The ministry of Samaritan's Purse sends boxes, shoe boxes, around Christmas time and throughout the year to help um, introduce kids in developing countries to Jesus. Through this gift, 
they feel like they get the opportunity to tell kids that the greatest gift that they could ever get is Jesus and that he came so that we could have a relationship with God. We're teaching that, right? We're teaching that about the tabernacles. So um, if you can help kids understand what Operation Christmas Child is, I will have a video for you if you want to show the video about Operation Christmas Child. I will also have a letter home to parents so that they can understand what we do at Operation Christmas Child. So kids are going to get one of these stickers to put on their offering container. And then they can use the other stickers that are in your bag to help decorate their offering container the way they want to. They can put their name on there and they can take this home. And what we want for them to do is to begin to collect pennies and nickels and dimes and quarters to fill up their offering container so that when we start our um, drive in the middle of um, September, to start collecting money for Operation Christmas Child. They can, they can have some already put aside and ready to save. If they'd like to use their offering for other reasons, they are welcome to do that. We take an offering with kids every week in kindergarten through fifth grade. And if we need to start doing that with our three and four-year-olds, we can do that with them as well. So that's what that is for. And then you have your memory verse, which is Matthew 22, verses 37 through 39. And it says, Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your mind. This is the first and the greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Give yourself a hug or give your friend a hug. I am so thankful for you guys building relationships with kids. Um, through the time that you spend with a kid, you are helping them um, begin to learn to trust and to be begin to learn how to build healthy relationships so that they can continue to be contributing members of a church, know who Jesus is and that he is their savior as well, and begin to um, try to figure out what it what God has what God is asking them to do as far as ways to serve him and ways to honor him and worship him. Have a great week and thank you for leading.